Greetings fellow guitar travellers, it's Rowan J Parker here and welcome to episode 2 of Ludicrous Licks bringing you, well, Ludicrous Licks so, got a chromatic one for you today, which should be cool before we get into that, I'd like to encourage you to have a look at my website www.rowanjparker.com just go and have a look, it is a cool site alright, now, let's go on with today's lick chromatic madness <gasps> let's rock Okay, here we go. I'm going to play this against a metronome, 130 BPM. First time, semi quavers, and then just fast. Alright, have a listen. Ready, steady, and. Up. Complete and utter nonsense. Where might you use this lick? Well, hard to say really. I suppose if you were going completely insane and you were in a sort of 12 position E minor box pentatonic thing, you know? And you really wanted to do something silly. Maybe, who knows? Maybe not. Anyway, I'll get down and show you the lick. Here we go. Okay, let's show you this lick. Right, now it's in 12th position and it's just using as a basis this very simple 4 fret chromatic exercise which I'm sure all of you have played at one time or another. It's just a 4 fret span from fret 12 to 15 1 finger per fret. So the digitation is obvious, you have to use all 4 digits here. So, on a matter of seriousness, although it is a silly lick, it is a great lick for getting the left hand really even, especially this weak third finger. If you're into legato, you know the third finger is weak. So, anyway, let's just look at it. So, on the high E string, there's just four notes playing high E, 15, 14, 13, 12, right? And then on the B string, we start a pattern of 10, which gets extended down most of the rest of the string. So, we've got this. Which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? So it's really a decuplet at that particular pace in that we're squeezing 10 notes into the space of one beat. Uh, here's the, uh, the verbal tab, so it's B15, 14, 13, 12, 13, 14, 15, 14, 13, 12, which is very simple. It's just that idea. And we just repeat that same idea on the G string as well. I don't think I need to give you the tap for that, it's just exactly the same idea. And the same on the D. And the same on the A. Now it's a little bit different on the low E because you're going to descend and ascend but not descend again. So on the low E it's just that much which will be 15, 14, 13, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now you start the ascending half, which is back to tens, but it's the other way around. So it's going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That way around. So that is all back on the A string is A, 12, 13, 14, 15, 14, 13, 12, 13, 14, 15, right? So it's that establishing pattern. So it's really just the inverse of the descending pattern. And then go to the D string and do the same 10 note pattern. The G string, the same 10 note pattern and then B string, same 10 note pattern. And you go into the E string, if you want to repeat the thing again, you will go 12, 13, 14, 15, 14, 13, 12, right? And then you're back in the B string. If you want to finish it, then you're just gonna go 12, 13, 14, 15, that's gonna finish there, right? So let me play the whole thing at a, a much reduced tempo, and I'll tell you what, I'll just, I'll just alternate pick everything just to, just to demonstrate so it's, it's obvious, right? So have a listen. A three and four run.
terms of its tonality, we were joking about, you know, where you could use it. Well, it has an incredibly broad, either, you know, E minor or possibly G major tonality, but I mean, it's just chromatic, so it's, it's nonsense really. But uh, you probably can crowbar it in, but how musical it is, I don't know, but it's certainly good for effect. All right, so that's a lick. Um, let's just listen to it one more time, I think, why not? Okay, for this last demonstration, I've ramped the tempo, cranked it up to 150 BPM, which I've got no idea whether I can play or not, but it is ludicrous licks, so we're going to give it a go, all right? So here we go, 150, hardcore. Ready, steady, ready, and. the lick hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next week for another episode of ludicrous licks with guaranteed ludicrosity all right till then farewell